but just occasionally there is physical evidence to back up reports of close encounters. This is the strange story of Robert Taylor. On the morning of the 9th of November 1979, a very unusual in incident occurred in the woodlands of Deckmont Law, an incident so unusual some would argue impossible that even after over 40 years it still remains one of the most important UFO encounters in the world. Robert Taylor, a Livingston Development forestry worker, was, along with his red setter dog, conducting a routine woodland inspection in the woods. After walking down a forest track, Taylor rounded a corner into a small clearing and was amazed to encounter an unearthly object. The object in question was a large metallic circular sphere and spanned 20 feet across. Intrigued, Taylor began to approach the sphere, but as he did so, two smaller spheres dropped from the main sphere and started rolling towards him. With his dog now barking furiously, the two smaller spheres grabbed both of Robert's legs and began dragging him towards the larger, the larger sphere. As this happened, Robert recalls smelling an acrid smell and hearing a distant hissing sound before losing consciousness. After a period of 20 minutes, he awoke to an empty clearing. The strange objects had simply disappeared. Unable to talk, and with a deep ache in his legs and unable to walk, Robert dragged himself back to his pickup truck, which, upon arriving, would not start. It was not until Robert had walked a mile back to his house that his wife, upon seeing his dishevelled state, phoned for a doctor and the police. The following clip is original interview footage from the 1980s that show Robert Taylor and the police officers investigating the case. But just occasionally, there is physical evidence to back up reports of close encounters. On the morning of November the 9th, 1979, forestry worker Bob Taylor walked down this woodland track outside Livingston New Town near Edinburgh. He rounded a corner and was astonished to be confronted by an unearthly object. It was a huge thing with a big round dome, a very dark grey colour, and it had a, a big flange going all the way around. I could see arms sticking out of this flange with what I took to be blades on the top. Later he described what he'd seen to a local newspaper artist who drew this sketch. As I stood here, there was two balls came out, two balls, I'd think they'd be about three feet in diameter, with about six spikes, and they were rolling on these spikes, and they came right up beside me, and I remember feeling a tug at that time, and a very powerful smell, a choking sort of smell, and that was it. He crawled up this path and staggered home to be met on the doorstep by his bewildered wife. It looked terrible when he came in the door and he just stood at the door and I said, have you had an accident with your lorry? And he said, no, I've been attacked. And I said, what with? And he said, a spaceship. And I said, oh goodness me, there's no such a thing as a spaceship. I'm going to phone the doctor. You must have fell and hurt your head. He looked quite shocked and he, he was drained, he was right white and his face was dirty and he had a red scar here and uh, his clothes were all dirty and his trousers and then he told me his trousers had been torn. Police station Barkhead. The police were called and they discovered inexplicable track marks at the scene of the incident. On examining the area I found two track marks approximately 40 holes in the ground. And these are the track marks here, 
and these are the 40 holes. Uh, since then, I've photographed the holes. This is a photograph of the hole here. This is the holes that measured approximately three and a half inches. In this other photograph here, you can actually see the tread marks which correspond to the marks here. These markings and tracks were actually inside this area here that's fenced off, uh, and there was definitely no other tracks leading to or from this area. These are the trousers worn by Mr. Taylor. As you can see, they're of fairly heavy material. We have a tear on the left, just below the pocket, and one on the right trouser leg, again just below the pocket. These marks are consistent with the material having been pulled up while the trousers were being worn. Well, I'm pretty certain that that day that I saw a spaceship sitting here. We must accept the story of Mr. Taylor. He is a very highly respected member of the community, a man of high integrity, and not one likely to invent such a story. So people have tried to discredit and disprove this encounter a fake and some have even blamed a mirage of Venus for the UFO sighting I mean really Venus come on it it boggles my mind when when uh, skeptics come up with ridiculous ideas um, you know for what happened uh, and also uh, epilepsy has also been blamed but you know, how can epilepsy and how can a mirage of Venus, um, you know, put these marks on the ground and uh, marks on the uh, on the trousers and, you know, it, it, it just doesn't make sense whatsoever. Um, and if you look into Robert Taylor's eyes when he's given the interview, when he says that he was attacked by this UFO, you can see it in his eyes that he's absolutely mortified and horrified but by what happened so you know there's definitely something there um, on that part of the woods was it a secret military operation experiment was it an et aircraft could it have been possibly a russian black military experiment i guess we'll never know unless of course you believe 100 percent robert taylor's encounter Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe and hit the notifications button. Thanks a lot guys, see you soon.